It's always like this with vampires, where Back. it's just like, go and talk to people and solve my problems for me, and then maybe I'll help you. Also, welcome back. Stop following me. It did, it, were you Good stealing evening, drugs? Please. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you. Everybody's sir. hair in this place I'm looks like Willie shit. Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about That's not that this sort of looks bad. It just it always Dr. looks Swansea bad on sure them. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. If you had a pick between a being a werewolf or being a vampire. No vampire. You must know. Okay. Why would I choose potentially losing myself to be a monster while on a, like in a semi-unconscious state, as opposed okay, well, to no, no, a like vampire. werewolf, you can like pick when it's like you could pick when you change. Like I'd still go with vampire. I'm just hoping that I'm gonna get a vampire where it's like at least a semi-decent bloodline. Like it doesn't need to give me any cool powers. I just don't want to turn into like a ghoul. How are things here? Not By the way, in reference to your comments about the Xeno wall text, I post no, enemy. not Jesus Magdalene. Listen, I know Mary Magdalene is incredibly huh? important to the Xenoblade and Xeno saga in general, which is in and of itself its own fucking hilarious statement. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. But yeah, no, like, I mean, vampire is, like, the go-to for me. Because, like, werewolf, you live the same-ish lifespan as a human. And you age mostly the same. But, like, vampire, it's like, I could go for, like, a good, like, 400 years and then be like, fuck it, I'm out, and just go to sleep one day and then just be dust. Because the sun rises. <laughs> like, you, you just choose when it's over, basically. And, like, yeah, you kind of age slowly sometimes, depending on the lore, but, like, other times you're just stuck at that age forever, and I feel like there would be a point... Like, if I got turned into a vampire right now, I think I'd be happier than if I was just turned into a vampire when I was, like, 18. Because it's like, I'm okay right now, depending on if vampires can still lose weight. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... Personally, How do we beat an invisible I would appreciate Some vampirism if it was of a strain that allowed me to use shapeshifting. Not so that way I could shapeshift into anything cool in any meaningful way, but because, man, it seems like it would be fun to turn into, like, 17 bats and piss somebody off. <laughs> or just a wolf, because that makes no sense. Or just a more attractive version of myself. Because that's what I would do if I could... I, I say this jokingly, but that's called makeup. You can do that now. <laughs> no, I can't, like, make myself appear thinner in seconds. I mean, vampires can't really do that, usually. I was joking. No, I'm just saying. Here's the thing, though. If they can make their whole body turn into bats, I feel like if they're like, eh, I want to look, like, two inches slimmer on the waist... <laughs> Tell me that shit. If you can turn your whole body into bats, or like turn into a giant monster, I feel like you can go. I'm going to slim myself down some. I I have like a a, a mental thing where I think that the whole vampires are extremely hot mentality is actually just vampires tricking you. Yeah, they just shape shift to make no, themselves no, 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 no. appear. No, 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 I I think that what it is is it's the vampires, like, Goodbye. doing the hypnotic Call stare thing and being like, "You think I'm hot?" Because <laughs> why else are a bunch of like twenty three year old peasant girls like fucking an eighty year old man? Like, come on. Most people don't want to get their bones jumped by people that old. I don't know if he looks like that one Dracula from Van Helsing. I'd be all for it. I still can't get over that you're really into that Dracula because that Dracula is just a greasy fucker. Like He's really attractive, though.
I hated his wives. His wives really upset me. <laughs> because you're not one of them. Huh? Because you're not one of them. No, they were just annoying. I mean, Dracula's wives are always, like, kind of annoying and or creepy. And my plus, he always just pet, uses them to, like, biggest, fuck other people. My biggest no need for fucking love. pet peeve of says, any here is a man, here is a woman, read, both are monsters, is that the her. guy always looks Wait, grotesque and scary in his monster form, and the woman is like, her teeth are slightly sharper. I no. mean, at least in theirs, they turned into fucked up harpy women. Yeah, like, that was okay, but they were still hot. You look Please at them and you're like, I'd down, fuck man. that still. I, I wouldn't. I want, I, there's somebody out there who would. But what I'm saying is I want them to turn into, like, a, like a grotesque version of what, like, a slightly smaller version of what the actual Dracula turned into. Like, they still had pretty faces. Yeah. I don't want the pretty face. I want them to be grotesque, scary monsters. It's the biggest fucking pet peeve of mine. I mean, that's the... That's the good thing about that, like, thing in Blade 2 where they make the new vampires and all of them just have their jaw split like a fucking predator. Yeah, like, that's cool. I, also, I, usually you do age either slower, as in almost not at all, or to, like, actually stop Misty. Yeah, vampires don't- that's, like, why vampires live forever. If I didn't know better, stop Mr. aging. Jones, I'd be inclined to say you but this type of one of the things, person. my another really big pet peeve I have is like you're in a video game, like the Quinari. The male Quinari is a fucking brick house. Yeah. And then the female Quinari is it's an elf with horns. It's like no, I want a woman who's like eight feet tall you seem to know and is just the buff. I mean, they also made the male canary Beware, less Jones, in case this buff. Cool. Fall on you. Yeah, like they, well, they, they, and that, that's part of the thing for the canary, though, in Dragon Age, is lore-wise, the men only handle warfare and the, the women only handle politics. So, like, their sexual dimorphism is played into what their gender roles are in society. So, it makes sense from that angle, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, like, if I'm, like, if, if I'm going to be you, able to play a female Quanari and she's, like, like, my thing is, it's, like, why can't in those games, why can't you, like, I know, like, in the new Dragon Age, they're going to be able to, you can edit the body type however you want. But it's, like, if I want a big buff fucking Quanari, let me have a big buff fucking Quanari, please. Again, it might just be the actual sexual dimorphism. But I don't fucking care. I know that you don't care, but I'm just saying, sometimes sexual dimorphism exists in species. I don't fucking care. Let me have the option to be a big buff Quanari woman. Not, I am a very slender, I'm a very slender, because like, even in all of like, the concept art and everything, the female Quanari were like, bigger. I'm not saying they were like iron bull levels of jacked, but they weren't an elf body. It's like, give me a woman with a six pack ab. Please. <laughs> I spent the money on the Quanari armor. And I want <laughs> I want to see my lady with six pack abs. I like the Carmelian Castlevania series. There's a picture of Circle of the Moon. Hold on, I'll take a look. That's just a woman on a, a skull. <laughs> That's just a woman on a skull. She's fused to it? Yeah, but like, that's still just a woman, a on, woman a skull. on a skull. Like, I, I get that it's her arms and legs, but you need to understand. I've seen people that are just like, yeah, here's my art of a snake girl. And then it's just, they have a human ass sticking out of it, and I'm just like, but that's not Snake Girl, like, what are you talking about? This is a person with, like, no legs. So, like, if you took away a person's arms and legs and still made them a weird monster, people would be like, but if it has a vagina and I can fuck it, sure. <laughs> and, like, she's clearly got an ass. I feel called out. <laughs> be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck him. 
I'm always, I'm always like the person that wants weird anatomical accuracy on that sort of stuff where it's like, here is my Naga character. Okay, cool. From the waist down there, a snake. Okay, cool. They don't have an ass. Yeah, that's what I do. But it's just like to compensate for that. They just have giant tits. <laughs> But, uh, my brother always gets really mad whenever I play- because whenever I play- What's wrong with a, my Twitch? I don't know. Whenever I play a female Quinari, I always do How'd a mage, here? and he gets so pissed. <laughs> Wait, that's like- that's the perfect class for it to be, because not only are you a fighting character, which Quinari women aren't- Oh, this just opens now. Uh, it, you're also the thing that their society, like, fucking hates the most. Exactly. It keeps and he's looping. just like, no. <laughs> Why? Yeah, your Twitch was doing that weird looping shit last time. I remember that. Are you f fucking with me? There's another one of these goddamn Zimbabos. Get out of here. Okay, before I retrieve. Oi! You listening? Bye. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. So literally just, like, on the other side of a fence from where I'm working are vampire hunters. Fantastic. I'm trying to think of, like, any literature or stories or stuff where vampire ladies become horrifying that aren't just, like, scary from the start. Are we... How flexible are we on vampire? The the ancient Greek equivalent of a vampire was a lady that got cursed and turned into like a baby eating monster. I just I want like I want all I want is in a game or a movie somebody to look like how Dracula's wives look, then they to turn to look like how Dracula's monster form looked. I'm sure there's some. There's gotta be out there, but. <sighs> That's why I'm just sticking to drawing monster porn. <laughs> That's my fix. <laughs> I can't get it in the media, so I have to draw it myself. One of these days, I'm gonna smash this some barrels and there's gonna be something in it. To the floor. Uh... And this lame-ass Dark Souls. Can't breathe, can't breathe. It's cold. It's like ungodly cold. Okay, problem solved. Um, I mean, it's not really that cold in here, so I'm surprised that it's that cold for you guys. A fucking Star Trek attacks! Well, I mean, like, it's cold for me, and cold for me is like. anything under 60 or 60 degrees. And It's about, like, 53 out right now. Yeah, I mean, as long as it's... Really? Oh. Um, as long as it's, like, above 5 degrees, I'm, like, usually pretty comfy. I also feel like it has to do with the fact that I never wear pants. Yeah, I mean, that's just restricting your, you know... Ability to stay warm right there. I love them like hearing a guy going, Help me, help me. I'm like, eh? Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check him. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil? Ah. Oh, they're... they're getting attacked down here, huh? You know what? Fuck it. Bloodshot. Wow. Through both of them? Oswald? Cobblepot? Oh, I got the fucking gun out! That's the wrong item! Doesn't happen as often as... <laughs> 
160p, but still happens. What? What is this problem you're experiencing? It's incredibly rare and weird. Hey, sup, dude? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm I need to get Reed, out. And I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please. I love that this guy's like, hey, help me, I need to get out. And he's okay. not at this okay, point I'm, I'm going, hey, Please, how the fuck did you out. kill those two right, monsters? Fletcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. I don't trust now you. Leave this place and enjoy the cool Are we really operating under the assumption that this man who got himself locked in a cage attacked by two vampires has the ability to get out of here safely? I don't. Are you sure? All right. Well, let's take a look at you. Uh, he has a headache. Fair enough. I too would have a headache after an attack by vampires. Presumably. If nothing else. Ah! God damn it! Every time! It's gotta label these things as this will like load you out of the game. Rat blood is not as potent or tasty as human source. Cool, let me back in. I made a mistake. Let me in. Load the game. There we go. Is he gone now? He's still fucking down here. God damn it, you dweeb. Get out. I, I rescued you. You can leave. You don't have to be here. God, everything like this just, it just, like every little area that I've been in in this game, it just, it feels the same. Well, that was unintentional, but very funny. The ban of the dragon. I'm sorry? I would advise members very wary of so-called scholars. Ritual called ban of the dragon. Find our bloodthirsty immortal. Call upon this ban. Why exactly? I don't know. Does it really exist? Burgal Bansha himself. Never be considered a dragon by the Brotherhood. Whatever. This is fine. Opium. Just hanging out in the sewers. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely nothing going to happen down here. Sewer beast? Yo! Yo, that's a Rachel creature! Ah! Uh, <laughs> Okay. I love the idea that this thing only has... I, I guess it's a werewolf. This thing's got ass, I tell you what. If it's not a werewolf, it's like a blood plus creature. Ow. That kind of hurt a little bit. Okay. It's fine. Ah! There we go. Get on in it.
That's fine, don't worry about it. We have a Karateran on our hands, or as people on YouTube called it back then who couldn't pronounce it, a Turpoteran. Fuck off. Oh, he's got a HP regen bar too, I just realized. Okay. Now. This is why they gave me a, a regen vial for getting down here. We're gonna heal up, actually. Dude, fuck that attack. Ah! My neck! My neck! Fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It's like a werewolf and a hedgehog had a baby. I mean, probably happened, to be honest. Dude, this is fucking stupid now. Okay. No, I'm not going to get grabbed by the neck again. Oh, did I just get you mid-movement? That's pretty sick. Dude, you're getting so many staggers. Holy shit. Alright, come on. Give me that blood. Fuck. Oh, Christ! Big hits. Hole! Okay, one. Two. One. One. Okay, we're, we're both really stupid, don't worry about it. This is fine, don't worry about it. One, two... Nah, it's cool, don't worry about it. Three, four, suck, blood! Okay. Ow. One, two. Ow. Three, four. Eat ass. We did it. A Dark Souls boss. Nurse Crane's voucher if you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothea and get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Protescu's house and present this coupon. Fantastic. Blackmail in Whitechapel. Who would have guessed? What is Nurse Crane up to? Dude, the way <laughs> your really legs splayed out is very unfortunate. Oh man, is that really all that was like in here though? Dude, that kind of sucks. You're telling me I can't even go explore anywhere else? And I didn't use a healing item. For some reason, the machete just seems to be the best one that we've got so far. Mm hmm Welcome back. <laughs> you missed werewolf ass. So there is that.
Not sure why, but clearing browser cache fixed it. Dude, who clears browser cache nowadays, right? Oh, hi. Ah. Uh. Sure. I mean, I do every few months, I guess it's been a while. I, like, never clear browser cache anymore. Like, somewhat out of laziness. Fuck. Alright, I'm starting to get the appeal of that knife. Ow. Oh, I just don't get why, like, a vampire smacking my shit makes me lose, like, max HP. It's a bit silly. Oh, really? Dude, were you, like, just huddling in the corner? Like, fucking what? Large knife. <laughs> I mean, we've already met a guy named... Cl what are you talking about? It's not a... Like, there's Clay's hatchet! It's not a plot item? I thought that was gonna be a weapon. It's not! Wait, hold on. I forgot that we have a hacksaw. Mm, no, that's the wrong thing. Wait, we have a common barbed cudgel? When did we get that? Alright. <laughs> this is actually a saw. Oh wait, the barbed cudgel's a two-handed weapon. That's why I never noticed it, because I never looked there. Alright. <laughs> Parry attacks! Okay. I don't think that we had the option to parry attacks with the other weapon, did we? We did! I'm just stupid. Ah! Alright, I didn't like the blade, but maybe I'll appreciate the cudgel. I doubt it, but... We'll- we'll take it out for a, a few swings, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, King Country. My ass. Part of me wonders how much you can just fuck around in this game. Popular... Falberg? What? God, I'm gonna look like an idiot not knowing fucking Britannia speak. Can't just enter doors. I guess that's because I'm a vampire. This is not at all where my stuff is. Oh! Okay. So this is, uh... This is a place with a little bit of combat, huh? Ooh, fuck. Alright, I'm feeling it. It does those big hits on the, uh, the stam meter there. Oh. Oh, the iframes! Yeah, okay, doing like two on a hit, definitely nice. And just like that, I feel better about myself. Oh, 
Holy fuck. Okay. Ow! Oh. Cut your life. Alright, I'm feeling it now. I was gonna say fast attack's the way to go, but no, you know what the real way to go is? Doing a huge chunk of their HP and just fucking wrecking their stam meters. Holy shit, that's very good. I actually got a decent amount of experience out of that, too. The glory of blunt force trauma? Like, for real, though. I, I genuinely used to be, like, firmly in the I want to hit as many times and as quickly as possible territory as a, as a kid. And, and so I was always really big on, like, not even out of weebiness, just samurai swords, light swords, rapiers, things like that. Something that will give me a range and edge bonus, right? But as I've gotten older, I really appreciate the, uh, the intricacies of just cracking somebody's fucking skull open. Do I have any other missions that are here? Because I thought I had some where it was like, somebody was like spying on somebody or some shit. Okay. Huh. I thought I was gonna have like more quests here. I'm gonna be honest. Good evening, Dr. Dr. Reed, any good? I I good thought night. there would be like way more going on here. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's wow. Okay, like very nice. Mr. Hooks, you can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not That's sure completely fair, actually. Why does your satchel look like it was created in the modern day? A surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. I just realized I can't see my face. Do I still look as fucked as I did before? need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Uh, I found your wallet? I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your... So there is stuff here, it just doesn't tell you. Money ...and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all. Guy, I wasn't even gonna fucking bring it up. Take this money anyway, to remind you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Not as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Let's trade? I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Like, okay. I don't want this to come across as, like, my own internalized racism. But is it, like, kind of fucked up that the first words, like, out of this black guy's mouth are, like, Hey, are you upset that I'm dating a white woman? And then when you're like, no, he's like, cool, want to buy a gun? <laughs> Seems a bit questionable to me. Especially as an ambulance driver. Little weird. That is an, <laughs> that is an expensive gun. That is also big damage, though. Twenty bucks. That's it. Okay, I'm, I'm intrigued by the fact that I can sell things. But I can also just recycle things into components. Oh, dude's wedding ring. Only 17 bucks. 17 quid for a wedding ring. Talk about inflation. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Yo, 
we're we're gonna work up to that one. How is the situation around here? You wanna hear the situation is alright? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. It's fair enough and accurate. Smuggling weapons. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital. And why not? I've already been See? by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns. And it's back? Oh no. I'm sorry, I missed you. Your own way, doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. I don't think selling guns is the way to do it. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm fine, Doc. Physically, at least. But I would give everything to be in a better place right now. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. Why did that just skip dialogue? Since you're on the front line... What happens? How is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. That's because they're vampires, Milton. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Okay, so that's how we would have learned about going there to find his shit. So... Okay. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm not saying you're wrong. Excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's a little bit crazy to be this jaded. You know? Just, just a smidge. Like, just a little bit. Eat my butthole. There it is. Well, not only is your shit back, Misty, your sub is back as well. Congratulations. This man's very healthy. Hey, what about that girl you're boinking? What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Paper's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Good to know. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very Oh, did I lose internet? Maybe you're right. But we support each other. Nope, I didn't. Okay. Can't watch like this, but I hope to fix it in the near future. That's completely fair, Misty. I don't expect you to have to deal with that. These will all be eventually up on YouTube. Might take like a month. You do realize you could both. Who knows? Hospital See ya. Staff are not meant to have, have fun. intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Doctor Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. All right. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. Question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? Well, we're not going to need to trade. Can I can I not choose what things are appearing as my my quest lines? Like are these not things I'm able to follow? Oh, tools of the trade failed. Because we fucking killed that man, I guess. Bring back his knife wait, bring back his knife to its owner. Oh, that's really fucking good. That's pretty funny, I'm I'm not gonna lie. 
Okay, so I can track this one. I just I f it. Sure. We're gonna, we're gonna you know what we're gonna, we're gonna be right back. We're gonna be right back because I need to use the washroom because I looked at the clock and it is eleven o'clock on cue. I need to use the washroom. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Well, that's a little Rachel snore. You know what that means. Badoo. Okay. Find out who's spying on Thelma. Can I... Can I untrack the other mission? Sleepy Rachel. Yeah. Black Man in Whitechapel. I snore. Yes, you snore. Mm-hmm. Not super loud, but enough that I was like, hmm. Enough that it was noticeable. Enough that, it, like, I was like, that's a Rachel snore, so... Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? <laughs> where are the I vampire hunters it. hiding? If only I knew where vampire hunters were. Uh, that they were everywhere as I've been killing them. Well. Oh, fuck. Is it a radius that I have to go and investigate in? God damn it. I cannot enter. More bodies will arrive. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. How's this dream going? And humble uh. this morgue. What do you mean? It's going. You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. Well. It is just that I like to be hmm. precise. I run a little I think job I'm going to go to of the dead. That's fair. But I used to be a okay. real doctor. And like that, she's gone. Which is fair. Not afraid of the Are dead, you huh? afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Dude, 
I've got the same kind of thought process. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear... I don't think it's exotic. For dead flesh. Sir, as a medic it's a little bit more macabre. I learned to face my death and the death mm, of Okay, well, that would do it. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Of course he did. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? Probably because the vampires. After the beginning of the epidemic, cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Sure. Makes sense. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Well, she's very relieved of her life. Do you believe in life after death? You're a, a pawnbroker, pawn huh? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to Who trade? Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. That's questionable. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. Yeah. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. But you're not answering my question. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death? Man, what a way to start that. I Just, hey, since you don't believe in dying, while alive, for our time is short. you're not afraid of that. You're not afraid to die. You, think you, would enjoy you don't believe it's a life. thing to be afraid of. As a concept. That's just like, think so. hey, I'm, I'm threatening you. Life, Are you? Like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Wicked. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything... Love begins. it when people tell me that my goodwill with them isn't going to mean anything in about four months. I would be bored, or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes. But the good news is, we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. <laughs> That's not true. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me... I mean, you might see it if a guy, like, pulls a knife out on you and stabs you a couple of times and then just leaves you to sit in an alleyway. I'm a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. All right, so you're 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 optimistic in your nihilism, which you is a weird way to attention? go about this. I'm feeling all right, Doctor. But perhaps it is because I too am used to the smell of the dead. You you're just like this. Goodbye, Mister. Wait, now you had a trade option? Good evening, Doctor E. Okay, get, gotta get Please that trade going. Let's see what you got. Okay. So my options are I can buy a gun. Or I can buy ingredients. More bodies will arrive and then sadly depart. Good, good. Okay. So I'm guessing that that would be... 
bookstore. Our brown here takes us back in. We're gonna do a quick perimeter sweep. I don't think we're gonna find anything. Okay, when I said didn't find anything or won't find anything, I didn't mean just like arbitrary shit. Ergotamine. <laughs> he almost kind of clipped into the doors there for a little bit. Man, love to just loot the hospital, right? Give me all that codeine. Okay, so like the person of interest is... Wait, what? Hold on. Why are you tagged? I'm a little confused. Do you require? Thank you. You know what? Hold up. Goodbye, nurse. We're gonna get me out of here. Where? Where is the lady that thinks that she's a vampire? Oh, I was gonna say, like, do these actually reload? And I think they do, because I'm able to loot things that I'm pretty sure I would have looted the first time through. Okay, well, since we're here... It's oh! Weird. What happened to the other guy? Good evening. You seem worried about the safety of your family. <laughs> and it's obviously the reason why your wound... Just scream at him, so you seem worried about your family. Their... Family, family, Both family. Me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Tell me more about the death of your wife. <laughs> 1915. I was in the army. Building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombings. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. How are your children after losing their mother? They were smaller then. The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Man, you got a sad existence, huh? Why is the blood quality based on hints? Recovering no blood loss. Okay. No food loss. Goodbye for now, Mr. I will not let you down, my boy. Oh wait, that door is now open. What? Hey, how you doing, Harry Potter? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. Anything new? Tell me about it. I don't want to. No. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Well, that's nice. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. 
It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Yeah, but see, we can still force her out. I have to go now. What if I just, like, mind-controlled her later when I had better abilities and was like, you're, 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 you're coming out here. How is my son doing? And just walked her out. Goodbye, well, Mr. okay. This game continues to slightly baffle me with its uh, social systems, I'm gonna be honest. Good evening, Doctor. Uh, I believe we're going to be working together. Uh, Dr. Swansea informed us... What's this angle? Arrival, ...but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Um... You are... I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a normal direction to be talking to a person in. Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion. Found a <laughs> found this rad ass third-party that model that's basically a bane blade on legs. Kind of want to get it. It's stupid ass pricey though. I mean, if you want to post a link to it, show because a bane blade on legs sounds fucking dumb. What made you Both in a good and bad way. I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. Speaking of pasta, I actually got a bane blade. Have the opportunity to work by your side. He got it cheap off of a guy on uh, fucking Twitter. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but Mortian I'm convinced shop. that we, as doctors, are Super the only heavy ones war able crawler. to defeat it. Alright, let's, let's take a quick look at that. Oh, okay. See, when you said legs, I, I didn't think like a spider walker. I thought it was going to be like a tank on stilts. I've seen people make things like this out of actual Warhammer kits. Like, um, using the Dune Crawler. The Onagar Dune Crawler, or whatever. People would take the legs off of those and they would use those to make, uh, walkie tanks. Gotta be honest, I'm uh, tempted to use the legs off of one myself to make a um, defiler proxy because defilers look like shit. Fucking price though. I didn't look at the price before I clicked out. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit of an insane price. That's more than you're gonna pay for like any GW stuff, really. Unless you're looking at Forge World, in which case that's a separate issue entirely because you're looking at Forge World. I based my technique on my And if you're looking at Forge World, I mean, he helped me you just know that you're already paying a lot of money anyway for something that's probably not talking about it. product. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. And I am convinced it's vampires. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. 
I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic... Remember last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic? I do. Third-party companies compared to Forge World usually are better. Like... That's just it. Forge World shit, need help unfortunately. In particular. Well, yes, maybe. I'm GW, for a batch of amazing. For my personal research, FW, yet my fuck out of here. Vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Doctor Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Okay. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd? I can't get past this weird angle that we're on right it's a shame now. He's so narrow minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside. Considering a Tau supremacy armor? Why I mean, so like. Difficult? You can get a good sculpt out of Forge World. It's not impossible. It's just less likely. He would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Doctor Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Well, cool. You guys are just gonna keep being bitches to each other. Tell me, Thoreau. What's Shit looks rad, but fuck gambling for the price. Yeah, that's why I don't get anything from Forge World. to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Man, what is this bullshit going on between these Tell people? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. You must remain neutral. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Eh. Uh. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children Technically, we are flesh mecha. It, it, it's more like there's nothing inherently wrong of that mentality. I'm sorry, wait, what? Did I see Pillar? Okay, so he's like the pillar of the community who connects all of these other people. You're fucking dead, my guy. Okay, we got nothing else for him. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Man, I'm slowly coming into frame there. Jesus Christ, I still look so fucked up. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh, there we go. Pepper, I know you're Pepper. very close to Milton Hooks. Yes, Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules are you aware that he sells guns? But here at the Pembroke, Wait, what? We break rules I didn't know we could do this! 
I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. Oh my but god. Dude, the fact that you can see in the fucking mirror. In the cutscene, and they're still the wrong way in the mirror. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, Perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary. Hey, have you lost My your religion or have you stronger. lost your faith in being a nurse? Maybe yes. We are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. Um fucking what? Goodbye. Now. Okay. Hi. Good evening, Mr. F Good evening, Dr. Reed. Uh Hey, Tell what's up with your arm? Your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. I don't think that's how that works, man. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. Yeah, it's still not really your fault, man. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. My children need to eat, Doctor. Okay, so that's like Goodbye it for that guy, I guess. Like, what else do we do there? Whoa, who are you? Good evening, Dr. Strickland. Oh, hi. Bye. Goodbye, Doctor. <laughs> We've got shit to do. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. Shut up. Absolutely no respect for you, that's for sure. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really? Like, I love that we're we're reading through these guys' confidential information, right? And we're coming out the other side, going like, "Hey, fuck you! What's your problem?" Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans, and it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Beauty is not everything. Surgery could help you. You can't hide forever. Yeah. Beauty's not everything. Beauty. I did say you do look like a vampire, though. Says Mr. Pretty Face. Yeah. That hint deserves to be failed. I deserve that. Tell me what really happened. I went with a whore. In Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. The hotel, eh? There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? Dude, your skin is fucking I'm clipping coming. through that shit. No. Look at that. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke me up. Left me to burn. Yeah, that's actually pretty not good. I'm gonna be real. How close are you to Miss Hawcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? Are you aware that I think you are a vampire? Reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. Ah! Uh, normal person. Aren't you afraid? Ah! Uh, the game goes too far. She's quite harmless. I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. 
while I'm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Man, this isn't it. <laughs> so do you let her bite you? <laughs> Man, you this isn't century. it. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain. Buddy. It's real for once. She could decide to bite less. I'm not saying that the biting is the problem. I'm not even saying that the blood is the problem. I'm going with the mental health check that's the issue. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Cotta syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. But frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Well, alright man, you do you I guess, huh? Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Disgust on every street corner. Alright, where is she though? I need to talk to her. Ah, oh, she's over here. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood doctor. Warm. I mean, you got a guy that you're apparently getting it from. What else do you need? Tell me, Thelma. Why do you feel so attached to Mr. Elwood? Why him? I'm... I, I'm not sure, Doctor. I think we have a bond of some sort. Well, you definitely have flexible hair because it can go right into your skin without you noticing. I find interesting. Do you plan to make him a vampire too? Of course not. How could I inflict my curse on anybody else? I'm not that cruel, Doctor. Would you say you and Mr. Elwood are romantically involved? No. No, Thomas is a delicate soul. Even though he disguises it. But I am not the woman he needs. No, for I am a vampire, Doctor. Mm. I don't know. I'll leave you, Mistress. Hold on, actually. Evening, Miss I, need blood, doctor. I was gonna say, hold on. She has she has a stronger mesmerized ability than I do. Fuck. Uh I was gonna say it'd be really funny to actually just drain her of some blood. But do you require my I have no need for your medicine, doc Sure. Fuck it. I'll leave. 